Transit Connect episode number five. Right, progress has been really slow lately because I've been quite busy with work and other stuff like that. Um, I put up a post a little while ago saying that if I got over 150 shares of the post, I would bolt a turbocharger to my van and I'm still gonna do that. I'm just being really, really slow about it. But I have made a little bit of progress. Um, I've bolted the turbo to the standard manifold because I thought I'd do it as cheap as I can. And um, I know the standard manifold's not really up for taking the sort of heat that a turbocharger will create when it's fitted. But um, I think the engine will probably blow up long before the manifold falls off. So that's the way I've gone about it, to be fair. I've started doing a few things in preparation to adding the turbo. Um, so the first things first is I fitted a COSI 3 bar map sensor. It's not an actual Cosworth one. It's like one of the replica ones off of eBay, but you get all like the specs for calibrating them and stuff like that with them. Um, I've connected the VAT coast to the back of the inlet manifold and I've converted the ECU from run to run rather than throttle position sensor versus RPM. I've now converted it to map versus RPM so that it can see boost pressure as well, which is good. At the moment, it's only obviously mapped up to like a 100 kPa, um, but the whole map of the van is now out because um, it was mapped on TPS. So I've adjusted it just to make it run enough so I can get home. Um, so now I'm gonna have to map it naturally aspirated as such. And then when I add the turbocharger, it will see positive boost pressure. So I can then, you know, add fuel to compensate for that. So um, yeah, progress is slow, but that's where I am at the moment. Right, so I'm going to um, fabricate the downpipe for the turbo conversion on the van. Um, I've bought loads of bends and stuff like that. I haven't got much room to work with because obviously it's a standard manifold. It's not designed to have a turbo bolted to it. So it sits very far um, over this way, and especially where it's got quite a big exhaust housing on it. So I haven't really got much room to play with. Um, but I've bought loads of stainless steel bends, so we're going to chop them up and just see if we can work something out. So I'm not sure how it's going to go, how it's going to work out, but we will see. <laughs> Right, I finished the downpipe, um, literally just ticked it all together, it's not the best but it will work, um, obviously just down under the sump. I haven't finished off the back yet, so I'm not quite sure where it's going to need to go but I'll um, finish that bit off when it's in the van and connect it to the standard system. Um, next up, I uh, need to sort the oil feed out for the turbo. Um, I worked out that the fitting in the top of the turbo is a one quarter NPT, I think it's called. Um, so I bought a one quarter NPT to 3AN adapter which screws nicely in the top and then I also bought another one because it's the same size in the back of the block where there's an oil gallery down there so that goes in there and then I've got two 3AN90 adapters to go on there like that and then I've just got to do the same with the other one around the back of the block. Um, I've got some 3AN line that I just need to you know, measure it up, connect it all up. And then yeah, that'll be the all feed done. So I'm going to do that now. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's silly things like, you know, I like to have soup, it's like silly things like down to get the gearbox in and mount your Yeah, like. or even like a hose joiner. And yeah. silly things like that. There's probably one here, don't you? There, innit? I didn't build. See what happens. 